you. Why are you trying to block it, sir? Why are you trying to block it? Because you know they tried to your message is offensive to these children here. The number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. And like this gentleman here, where slavery was legal, you could rape black men and black women, you could rip, you could murder them, you could whip them. It was all legal. And men like these black men right here want to keep people from seeing the truth about child sacrifice. Guy here too now. That's good. <laughs> trying to cover up the truth? No. Do you, do you understand? Well, trying to cover up the shame. Do you understand? You're trying to cover up the truth? No. Well, this is legal in Texas. Yeah. And men like you should be making it illegal. But not trying can, to cover it up. Can we have a conversation? Explain how. Well, yeah, that's, like, why, that's why I'm talking. Explain how men like that makes a law make can, it illegal. Can we have a conversation now? Because sure. Do, do, do you understand that our, our church's position? We're very pro life. Right. Yeah. You, you guys support all the pro life bills that regulate when, where, and how you can murder babies. But when a bill comes up to make it illegal, your church does not support but that's that. that's not true what you're saying. No, it is true. That, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, HB 948. I'm in a pro-life situation. I have protests with those signs myself. That's, but not, that's not, that, not true, sir. No, it is true. It is true. It is true. It is true. You're really off. No, it is true. No, that is not true. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. Well, then make it illegal. You think it's going to come overnight? <laughs> it doesn't make it right to make murder. To show murder being illegal to the children. Hey, if it's legal to lynch black men and whip them, it's legal. You should be able to show it. All right? And that's what the abolitionists did. They showed lynch black men and needed, black men that were whipped. Racial, right? Not lynched. Those things are not lynched. Yeah, legally murdered. It's legal in Texas to do this to children. It is legal to do this in Texas. And this church only works to regulate child sacrifice. That's all they do. We're saying we should make it illegal. Abolitionists stood up for the rights of black people so you could not murder them. Why are you on this racist kick, man? Because <laughs> that's what abolitionists do. Well, they expose the injustice. Just because you got a couple black guys here. Yeah. It was the white guys. Even in Texas, when slavery was illegal, the white men still owned their black men. Houston didn't let his slave goes, slaves go for a long time. You know, there is a thing called freedom of speech, which is a very constitutional thing, which you guys are trying to cover up. Peaceful protests, you guys are trying to cover up. You guys are trying to cover up the truth. No, it's just a little bit of uh, extreme offensive pictures. That, uh, you know, the Supreme Court has ruled that you do not have the right not to be offended. That's right. You do not have the right to not be offended. That's right. We've got the, we've the got cross the right. is very offensive. The gospel of Jesus Christ is very offend so, offensive. You know, come out the street. You cannot stand yeah. there. Get out of the street, man. <laughs> I'm on the curb. Here. <laughs> You're not on the curb. There you go. Peaceful protest. Freedom of speech, you guys are trying to cover it up because you're offended. All right? Not me. I got guys. Uh, you're you're offended? No, no, no. Why no. are you covering it up? We got kids coming in. So what? You know what? The kids are on my side. They say stop it, make it illegal. Don't grow up to be as wicked and evil as you guys who are okay with child sacrifice and do nothing to help make it illegal. Nothing to make it illegal. That's what you guys do. You try to cover it up. What's coming out of your mouth? 
not nothing but lies. And I would say not true. Not, not true. Perhaps from the evil one. You know, Satan can stand in different arenas and make things look right when they're so wrong. Right now, I think it's just broadcasting things message. Cindy, Cindy, Aiden, Cindy, Aiden, get to work. Look, look at all those people walking by. All you do is make more of a spectacle, draw more attention, make a better YouTube video. That's all you do. It's good for you guys. Man. It is good because it gets the word out and shows apathetic people who don't actually care about unborn people, just like people didn't care about slaves. They didn't. The abolitionists had to go and oppose and agitate the community and say it's wrong to rape women, black women. It's wrong to kill them if, if, if they're not obedient. Right? Man, you just hung up on the race thing, aren't you? Just yeah, really. Just it, you it's the same thing. It's the same a, thing. You got a black man he should man. understand oppression. There's a people group that are being oppressed, and the godly men will spend more time sitting in pews than they will trying to make it illegal to try to defend these you know, unborn a, babies. There's a modern day slavery going around here, and they enslave black and white, Hispanic, whatever. These women can't go home, these women can't do anything. Right, and it's illegal. But they have protection of the law. They have yeah. protection of the law. These babies don't. This is totally legal. This is totally legal. Illegal, uh, illegal slavery prostitution is not protected by law. <laughs> illegal, like slavery is illegal, even in Texas. All right. Well, you need to get off the race car. Why? 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 No, it has everything to do with it. There's a people group that are telling another people group what they can do and what they can't do. So there's a group of people that say it's okay for women to murder their babies. Just like there was a group of people saying it's okay to own black people. All right, it's the same thing. It's a wicked, evil spirit, no. and it's wicked that White that godly men who go to church ignore it. As well. What's that? White women are being owned today as well, <laughs> outside of their will. Look, that's wrong. We should oppose that. Yeah. And we, you know, what about you? The number one cause of death in Texas is I child my sacrifice. My Facebook page, <laughs> I'm sure it's very pro-life. I'm sure you're, you, you support all the pro-life regulation of how you can, how and when you can and can't no, murder I'm babies. About denouncing what's going on in New York. Yeah. yeah, that's good. And hopefully those people will actually do something and you not know, just... Those, those states, they want it. They want it. They want it here too. So what exactly do you want us to do? Yeah. Well, what, what, all right. what, are we, what are we supposed to do we, other, spo than, other than call our legislature and, and, and make our voice known? Is that the democratic way? That, that is a good thing to do, right? But we don't want to let them know that we want to regulate it. We want to make it illegal. All right? That's, that's the key. We need to oppose the pro-life movement and make it illegal. Because the pro-life movement actually opposes making it illegal. Because there, there have been bills put forth where the pro-life movement, like Texas Right to Life, will not support it because they don't want to criminalize women who murder their babies but we should right if a woman murders her one-year-old it's a crime if a woman murders her unborn baby right. it's a crime too about the hypocrisy of, a, of right of, 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 it's uh, and that's of special circumstances of murder if a, if a pregnant woman is murdered it counts as two deaths but if they, if they abort it voluntarily they I've, yeah. made the, I've made the exact same arguments right many times right so we need to stop being regulationist and we need to make it illegal that's what we need to do it's called an iniquitous decree when we say okay uh you can't murder a baby if it's partially born well, that says that you can murder it <laughs> before it's born that's an iniquitous decree if it has a heartbeat if you make a law saying um that if it's a heartbeat, you can't kill it. That's an iniquitous decree because it's saying, well, before a heartbeat, then you can. It's legal to, to, to murder it, right? So that's, that's the difference between the pro-life movement and the abolitionist movement. And this church is very pro-life, and it needs to oppose the pro-life movement and actually work to make it illegal. That's the difference. That's why we're here. We're not here because you guys are a bunch of wicked people. We're here because you're a bunch of good people that are not being biblically minded with child sacrifice. All right? And we're calling you to repent of being pro-life and actually be an abolitionist and make it illegal. That, that's, all, that's all we're doing. It, it could, okay. It's not because we hate you. Well, what, whatever, man. It's like, it seems like... What do you mean, whatever? 
Do you not hear what I'm saying? Will you, when things settle down, will you at least look at it, please? It, it talks about the church and, and what happened during the Hitler's time. And, you realize like, we have a, you know, what, you know what our SOS program is? No, sir, I don't. It's on the grandma's site. We've got a van that's a, that has sonogram on site. That that's was, good. That's a good thing. But it ain't good enough, man. Well, no. There's assistance, right? There's 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 two modes. There's assistance, and then there's making it illegal, right? Like I help kids, I help with kids too, right? Like I do that too. I don't just say, hey, we need to make it illegal, but I actually help. We adopted six kids out of the foster care system. We had three of our own. We adopted six, you know, right? We adopted them because in Texas, believe it or not, there's 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted. They're adoptable and it's free. The foster adopt system, it's free. And we have, you know, we have 70,000 pastors here in Texas, but 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted and nobody wants them. They're gonna age out. And you know why nobody wants them? Because they're- Seems like they're barking up No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man. 13,000 kids and they're gonna age out of the foster care system because nobody wants them because they're not babies. Right? So we need to adopt these kids. We need to care for born kids and we need to care for unborn kids and we need to make it illegal. Right? I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying we just need to make it illegal. I'm for helping women and helping kids. You know? Well, like I said, our only problem is the imagery. Like you said, I, I know. I understand what your deal is. And there's a time and place for everything, man. Right. If we, in, my, in my opinion, there's a time and place. You want, if I you understand. Want, if you if you want to walk around here with signs with words on them and say what you just told me, you know, just being pro-life isn't enough or whatever. But when you bring that stuff here in front of kids that are coming in here, it's disgusting. Yeah, but this agitates. It's, it's disgusting. I know, but this agitates you, right? Huh? This agitates you. It's disgusting. Right? I don't, I, it bothers I'm, you. I'm 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 gonna don't look. I I I use imagery like that in a time and a place this is not right. the time and the place right. when we got kids walking in here so, so where do parents. i do this where do i do this well, like okay all right, all right. All right. we do it. that Me and we do that Roden, that's what we do we right. go to we, we go do to that plan, 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 plan. like i said if you want if you want to come do but i'm i'm trying to reach if you want to come here i suggest doing the signs that i said if you want to protest it we don't have we don't have a problem with that if you want to say First Baptist yeah. is pro-life. That's not good enough. We need to abolish it. Right. Fine, but it's the imagery, man. Yeah, it's I know. The imagery. I know, but you and know, I know you're trying to shock us, and you're right. doing a good job. Right. But you're also probably scaring the hell out of kids. No, you know, it doesn't, doesn't scare care. the kids. He doesn't care. <laughs> you know, the he kids are care. on our side, man. No. Like, no, there wasn't one kid walked by crying ever, no, ever. You know, you not one kid kids freaked out. Nightmares. You know, no, yeah. no. They want to know why we don't. They can't believe that there's adults walking around that don't actually make this illegal. That's what they. That's what shocks them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna block the. She's brainwashed. <laughs> Chloe, just keep walking back and forth. Don't let them block you. Walk out to the street. <laughs> Can't deal with the man, so you're gonna go pick on a little girl. <laughs> yeah, I adopted six out of the foster care system, and I had three of my own. So you put that before them? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Children in that example? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, that's a big deal. Isn't it? A little kid that doesn't know better. Well, he doesn't know better. No, he doesn't know better. Why don't you talk He's to a him? He's a child. Why don't you talk to him? <laughs> Why, would, Why don't you, you talk to him? him? What good would it do? Brainwash him? Yeah. Did you read the literature he's handing out? I don't want to read that crap. Uh, well, then who's brainwashed? You. You know what? I think Absolutely. you should just. I think you should just get on your way, sir. Yeah, I'll get out of my way. Yeah, get out. I don't want to fight you. You act like you want to fight. Look at you. No, there's not gonna be a fight. Look at you. Walk on. You don't have to look at me, pal. You can only look at me because I'm here right now. Just <laughs> get going. Good job, Aiden.
at that kid, see how it's looking. Look at that kid in that car. Mm -hmm. You can't believe that he lives in a society. You, you don't care whether you're scaring him or not. You don't care whether this kid has a nightmare tonight or not. I mean, look at this kid. Look, man. Look at these kids. Yeah. Look at these kids. Those kids they don't have yeah. a voice anymore. They don't have a voice. They, they don't. You should be their voice. Yeah. You should be their voice. We are their voice. <laughs> You're trying to cover up their image. You're trying to cover up their voice. No, we don't. no we're just trying to cover up the horror that you're putting out here. Why don't you make the horror illegal? Why don't you be men of okay, God and do what's right? That goes out and vote. How do you do it? And goes out and protests against this politician that says, I think abortion should be illegal. What does that person do? All he can do is what? Go to the poll and vote. Express his opinion. Well, no. On, on, uh, yeah, that's what that person does. All right, so you asked me a question, so here's the answer. What you can do is you can get involved in your local politics, you yourself. Like when I showed up. When I, I go out to a pro Planned -Plan Parenthood clinic, I'm involved in my local politics and I hold that sign up. Well, actually, I hold that in front I'm talking of about, I'm not talking about. the clinic. I'm not talking about figuratively. I'm talking about actually getting involved in your local politics because you could show up to your district and you could become a district chair very easily and you could put forth abolitionist type bills. You could also talk to your pastors and elders and say, look, we need to stop regulating abortion. We need to work to make it illegal. All right, you could do that, right? I mean, helping out at the abortion clinics, good. Adopting kids is good. Helping women centers is good. Those are all good things that we should be doing. We should be helping women. We should be helping kids. It's good but we also need to help make it illegal and stop regulating child sacrifice because it is not the best we can do. The best we can do is be obedient to God and he will help us. He will raise up the standard to, for what's right. That's the what we best should do. People can do is teach Bible theology and teach people how, what, what does it is, he, he, He's not aware that we're in such an ungodly society today. No, 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 I'm talking about two godly people no. who love God. Let me ask you a question. We should do what's right. I tell you what, you know, when the we prophets, should do what's right. When the prophets cried out to Israel, they was doing what was right, but what did Israel say? We don't want to hear it. The right. The nation is the same thing. That's what you're telling we me now. That's what you're telling me now. We yeah. don't want to hear it. Yeah. That's, That's what you were telling me. We don't want to hear it. These women want to kill babies. These men who are afraid to be fathers, they want to destroy this baby. In the you world. don't want to hear it. You want to cover it up. I hear it. You cover it up. You you cover it up. I hate. I to, what? Why do I not have that right? Because you're putting fright into the minds of innocent children. And this is the wrong place to do it. This is definitely the wrong. Place. Out of the out of the places that are in right. Texas. Hey, you do regulate when you when you support regulation bills. And that's what Jeffries does. He does. If you go in and, and put in your pastor's name with pro-life, you'll see all the pro-life stuff that he supports and pushes for. All right. And you know what? I'm not saying he's doing it on purpose to be wicked. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he is not being biblically minded. We need to make it illegal and stop making iniquitous decrees, the Bible Anytime says. Anytime you got a congregation, maybe 13,000 people, and you tell them abortion is wrong, I think that puts a dense aside and began to, and then people conscious began to share them and say, yeah, I was wrong for having that abortion. When it comes here, not just on a Wednesday, but through the week, on the TV network to tell people that's wrong, how better, how better way you can describe abortion is wrong right. instead of pencil and paper. If people don't hear I it agree. from leaders, that, that's from good. leaders, then they're not going to get it. Yeah, man. And it's, here's the thing about it. Mm -hmm. If the Holy Spirit, if there's a such thing as the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit's in that, is, is God, that means the messenger, and the Holy Spirit speaks to him and tell people, hey, abortion is sin, abortion is wrong, then what? They gonna get it or not? So what? Right. It's no, it ain't no, you know what? I don't care if people are not convicted, convicted in their conscience about abortion, it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna continue to murder until Christ returns. It's return. the same way about drugs. If people don't destroy the appetite for drugs, then the right. drug war will continue right. to go on. I, I can ask you this. You're a good person or a bad person? I'm a bad person. I've sinned, but I've been redeemed by the blood of the cross of Jesus Christ, all right? So God has like lifted me up. I'm st I still hate my sin. I still sin and I hate it, but you know what? God holds me at night and and I, I'm I, he helps me get better all the time and I just I praise him that he saved me
right? Even he saved me. Jesus Christ, the blood, the redeeming blood of Jesus right. Christ. Right, right. He saved me, man. And I, and I just say, I just, okay, what do you want me to do? I just and he goes, oh man, you know what you're supposed to do. The Bible says that. The Bible says you know what you're supposed to do. And you know what? Back when slavery, back when slavery was legal, when pastors spoke from the pulpit that it was wrong, but didn't do anything to help, all they did was speak. They were speakers of the word. They weren't doers of the word. We need to be doers, speakers, and doers of the word. And we can do that. And it's not that hard. I mean, yeah, it makes people mad, 